Hey guys, it's Ophir with First Class Tax Solutions bringing you another video tutorial and today we want to be going over uh, keyboard shortcuts in QuickBooks Online. Um, so I have a sample company file open right now and uh, I just wanted to go over how to use these shortcuts, um, what they do what, and uh, cover a little bit of that. Um, I created this little PDF of uh, all the shortcuts that, that you could use in QuickBooks Online and um, I'll post a link down in the comment section um, where you can download this um, from my website okay so uh, without ado let's get started um, they, there's two different types of shortcuts in QuickBooks Online there's ones that, there are ones that um, you could do from regular pages which is uh, you know your home page, your, your vendor page, your customers page. Um, and then there's transaction page shortcuts, which you can only use inside of a transaction such as the invoice screen or the right check screen. Um, so let's go over a few of those. Um, as you can see, uh, you know you just to use these shortcuts you have to hold control, the control key the alt key and then whatever shortcut key they assign to whatever action you're trying to produce so for example if we wanted to go to the customer center or the customer screen in QuickBooks Online you'll see here that you just have to press uh, control alt and C at the same time and let me demonstrate that control alt C takes you right to your customers page um, this this is gonna save you a lot of time because uh, I've realized uh, doing this over the years that um, the, the less I have to interact with the mouse the, the faster and more efficient you become uh, when when using QuickBooks so uh, let me bring that PDF back so yeah there's there's a whole bunch of awesome shortcuts uh, let me show you a transaction shortcut uh, which is really useful well first let me go into um, the expense screen and you do that by pressing X so control alt X and that brings up the expense screen which is really useful and uh, from this screen there's a number of shortcuts that you could use also uh, this is a but since it's a transaction that you're trying to enter you would use the transaction uh, shortcuts so they have control alt X which is going to exit the transaction view uh, or I've always just used escape the escape key will, will do the same thing um, and then uh, something that's really useful is the control alt s which is gonna save a new so that that's awesome that, that saves some time for sure um, and then there's save and send which is cool uh, if you have an email on file for your customer you can just send them an invoice just like that it's, uh, you don't even have to move your mouse so uh, oh and what's really cool is the date shortcuts date shortcuts are, are awesome um, you'll see them in this uh, bottom right hand section uh, so if you guys didn't know it w whenever you're in a date section in QuickBooks Online you could either press the, the plus the plus key or the minus key to go up or down uh, by one day and that's that's cool and then uh, if you want to come back to today's date, you just press the T button, the T key, and it brings you back to today's date, which is today's is the second March second. Um, and then uh, what's really cool is you could also use these keys. Um, and also, l let me add that um, for the date shortcuts, you don't have to hold Control Alt or anything like that. You just press the the letter. Um, or the shortcut key and it does the, the assigned action so um, 
you'll see that if you press W, it it automatically moves the date to the first day of that week, and then if you press K, it brings you to the last day of the week. Uh, coincidentally, well, not coincidentally. I mean, it was it was done on purpose, but. W is the first letter of week, and K is the last letter of, of week. So they do that uh, with, a, you know, month. You could do the first day of the month by pressing M, the last day of the month by pressing H, uh, and then you could also do it per, uh, for the year. You know, you could press Y for the first day of the year, and R for the, the last day of the year, which is, so it really helps you remember those, um, those shortcuts by just, you know, Intuit is really uh, cool by doing that. I mean, that was really uh, intuitive of them. Uh, so yeah, that's that's it. That's pretty much how to use shortcuts in QuickBooks Online. Um, the Receive Payment shortcut is really cool. Control R. I mean, uh, Control Alt R takes you to the Receive Payment screen. Let me show you how to do that. Alt R. There you go. What other shortcuts are really cool? I mean, these are all useful. Just, uh, oh, Control Alt A to take you to chart of accounts. That's cool. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah. Check this out, and uh, you know, just get in the habit of using these shortcuts, and you'll see that that you they're really useful. You're gonna love it. So yeah, I hope you like this video. Uh, control. Um, <laughs> be sure to comment, uh, like, subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting more videos in the future. And uh, if you have any questions, you, please feel free to call me 954-358-9487. And I hope you have a nice day. Thank you.